Season's greeting everyone! I was challenged by my Facebook pal, Lisa Watson, from the South Atlantic, to bake a cake and post um, a picture of that cake on social media. This was her attempt. Half ready. I do not have a photo of the final works. By the way, this is her. She's into bouldering, as you can see. She was even here in Switzerland. Not far from here, but uh, did not even show up here to have a glass of buttermilk with me. Big mistake. That is her, full picture. So, you know what it means if you are close to here and not coming in for a drink and challenge me to bake a cake. This means war. Falkland Wars 2.0. Okay? I just get my uniform and start the battle, okay? Check this out. Forget about Gordon Ramsay. Forget about Jamie Oliver. Here comes the real kitchen entertainment. So, I'm supposed to bake a Devonshire honey cake. So we need some ingredients. Pass me the sugar sugar. Pass me the honey honey. Both items are not sponsored at all. Pass me the tea bag. Yummy chamomile tea to calm down your nerves for such a difficult task. Okay, what else do we need? A uh, cake tin. So this one is called a loose bottom cake tin. I wonder why. Now I know. I honestly believe in doing the things the old and ancient way, like killing this piece of butter. <laughs> you might have a problem because the cake tin is supposed to have a diameter of 20 centimeters. However, this one is um, 25 centimeters. Let's see if that is a problem or not. Yes, we also need a medium sized banjo and play a song. I came from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Then we take the banjo, cut the butter in pieces, and put it with the sugar and the honey into it. Then going to melt it. So I'll see you later. Ah, doesn't that look yummy? Honey, sugar, and butter. When everything is melted, put up the heat and then let it boil for one minute. So, this is our butter honey sugar mixture, which has become a bit cold. And I will put now According to the recipe, three eggs into it. Um, they are pretty small, so I will take four of them. Okay. The British are not only driving on the wrong side of the road, they also use things like self-raising flour, which we do not have here on the continent. Um, Self-raising flour is nothing else than a normal flour with a bit of baking powder. So I will add um, half a bag of baking powder to my 300 gram of normal flour. I'm a bit worried if I take too much of baking powder, then the whole cake tastes like cricket, which I do not want. Okay, let's try. Nothing naughty this time, folks. Okay. Eggs are now in our honey butter sugar mixture. So 
So now I will pour the whole stuff into the flour. So, and now I have to steer it until I have a nice batter. See you later. Okay guys, this looks nice and real slimy, doesn't it? So, and now this, we put the slime into the loose bottom cake tin. Which is 25 centimeters in diameter and not 20. As instructed. And now we put the stuff into the oven for 50 minutes. check now. It doesn't seem to have changed at all. How much time has passed? Uh, 50 minutes! I thought it was 50 seconds. Sorry about that. We can't... There's still a bit of uh, slime in there. It's not supposed to be eaten raw. It is done. Devonshire honey cake. So I did it all by myself. Um, the green plates magically disappeared. Now I'm going to decorate it. I will uh, heat up a bit of honey and start with the decoration. See you later. But all right, guys. Now give the Devonshire honey cake the final Swiss touch. The Swiss Army knife and stickers. Yeah. By the way, these stickers are uh, edible. So don't you worry about a thing. See you later.